All right, this is Marty Palman here uh, for the Gainesville Sun, talking to head coach of Oak Hall School. It's Coach Matthew DiBernardo, fourth season for you, Coach. And uh, let's start off with the expectations for 2018. You start practice coming up, and what are your expectations for this season? You know, our expectations going into this year are no different than they were in our first three years, where we're just continually trying to build a program. Yeah, even though we've been lucky enough to win some games in our first three years. I think that our culture still has a long way to go to have the program that we want to have on a daily, yearly basis where you know, we're having kids that are, are competing for a title, two different types of titles, our conference title and a state, a regional title, a state title, and then they're doing tremendous in the classroom and they're going on to the best colleges possible. We've been very successful with that thus far. We now have, in the four years that I've been here at O'Call, we have Matt Armstrong, who's at West Point. We have Chase Trinnell, who's at Amherst. We have Austin Gill, who's at Middlebury. Uh, we have uh, Jackson, uh, Steve, um, Jackson Carey, who's at Monmouth, and Zach Bryan, who's going up to Lawrence. So that part of our culture is really starting to come together. Yeah. where our kids are getting better, they're loving the game, and they're going on and getting into a school that can give them a great education and play another four years of football. And I, I take more pride in that than, than any win that we've ever had or ever will have. Right. You mentioned the culture of that. And uh, those guys you just mentioned, the only the only problem with that is you, you're losing the guy yeah, like we, Matt Armstrong. Uh, so uh, what, are you, what are the plans? I know, uh, you know obviously you have a new quarterback, and I believe you're planning on uh, right now Rocky, your son, moving in a Position. Well, we're actually we're looking at we're, a few I different could, I can tell you going into preseason that we're going to go with a freshman quarterback, okay. uh, Cole Gonzalez, okay. who just moved to the area. Uh, his dad is the offensive coordinator at UF, Billy Gonzalez. Right. Okay. And he is, he's got an, a tremendous football IQ. He is a hard worker. We're very, very excited to have him. And even though it is very scary to go with a freshman quarterback, we have a team right now that we have a lot of very, very talented athletes, dedicated athletes that are younger kids. And we're going to make a decision to go with a lot of those young kids and try and build with them. So Rocky, who had a very good year for us last year and played quarterback right. when Matt was out, he's going to stay at his normal positions and okay. play receiver and play in the backfield a little bit. And he'll do some wildcat stuff. But you know, we, we're going to go from a, a very experienced quarterback in Matt Armstrong to a guy who hasn't taken a snap <laughs> in a high school football game. So, yeah. But we have a lot of confidence in Cole, and we're excited to build with him. Yeah, and, and again, some other guys that you expect uh, to step up this year, you're expecting big things from in 2018. Thomas George, who right. has been a mainstay for us. He started for us as a freshman. He, so he's unbelievably going into his senior year, his second year as a captain. I don't think anybody has worked harder than Thomas to get to where he is, right. both academically and on the field. He already has a couple offers, and uh, it's only going to improve for him. But there's a guy that he has to have another great year for us on both sides of the ball. Now, he was a first-team all-area and all-state lineman as a sophomore, and he moved to fullback last year. Nope. Had a very good year at fullback, but we're moving him back to the offensive line this year. Okay. For a couple reasons, one of them being that that's what he's being recruited as at the next level. So we want to get him an opportunity to get the most film possible. Okay. So, uh, what areas do you expect the team to improve most from 2017 for the last season? You know, I thought we overachieved last year. I mean, we were a very young football team as far as experience goes, right? And we did overachieve in a lot of ways. I think this year we're actually coming in a little bit more inexperienced than we were last year. Mm, okay. And that is if the, the, the kids, the players that we feel are going to step up and earn positions actually do that over the course of the next two weeks. Going from our summer workouts into the preseason, we're really expecting a lot of these young guys to be playing a great deal for us. Um, you know, Cole Gonzalez, we've talked about. We have a rising freshman, Kyle Pollock, who's a, a tall kid. He's 6'1", 6'2", runs well. He's going to play on both sides of the ball for us. So, 
Yeah, I think that we're in the same position that we were last year going into the season, but our expectations will not change. We are going to compete for a conference championship. That's, that's going to be our goal every right. single year, is to be in position to get into that conference championship game. Hey, and then if we're lucky enough and good enough and we're able to get into the state playoffs, that's a whole other objective for us. Right. And so once we get there, there there's a whole other, there's, all of, there's more goals and objectives once we get there. But we're going we're gonna to try and develop each day and, and compete for a conference championship. Right. And, and again, you have that. It started last year for your team, and I know... Uh, two years ago, you had the undefeated team. I know last year, I mean, 7-3 is a really good record. And unfortunately, it wasn't enough. And you have that ability to make it into the state playoffs now. So, again, another goal for your team to do that since SoCal hasn't been to the state playoffs yet. We saw the team, your rival last year, uh, did that for the first time. So what? how will that work into... You know, motivating your team this year to get back, beat your rival, and, and get back, get to a state. We level. start. We start talking about from day one. We start talking about our objectives and goals, and our object. Some of our football objectives as a program is we want to win every home game, we want to win right. every conference game, we want to win our conference championship. If that happens, we'll probably qualify for the state playoffs. Mm-hmm. And once we get to the state playoffs, there's going to be another whole list of objectives. Now, if I'm not mistaken, last year, if they if they had the, the system that they're going into this year with the state playoffs, we would have been in, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Because um, it has changed. Yes. So it has changed a little bit. And so your I, record would have been kind of on we would par have been, with if that. If we weren't right. in, we were very close to being in. Right. Um, so we're just going to see. You know, yeah. we, we have our... our, our you, you, we've done these interviews for four years now. And I know. you know that you know, we're a day-by-day. Day, we're just trying to be yeah. the best that we can every day and compete with the teams that we have on our schedule and compete for our conference championship. And if we can get into the playoffs... We'll deal with it then. I think it tells you where your program is now that you say a, a seven and three season maybe overachieved a bit. I mean that that yeah. kind of tells me where where the success level has changed since you become the coach there. It's, it's been the kids have done a really really great job. The school has been extremely supportive since I've walked right. on campus because there's you know there's no way that a program goes from two and eighteen, which was the the record before right. we got to Oak Hall to I think we're or twenty three and five in those three years. That's not because of one guy or one player. Right. That's because of a bunch of different people and players working together for a common goal, and we're going to continue to do that. And, you know, you've talked a little bit about this over the summer, but talk a little bit about coaching your son. And, and you look at Rocky's numbers, and he kind of reminds me of a, a Trent Whittemore at Buholtz. He does everything. He feel, you know... Much shorter than Trent. Short, much shorter. <laughs> Rocky's done. Yeah, Rocky's but, but Rocky, done. his numbers, he does that. He does everything. Defensively, kick, punt, returns, you know, uh, running back, receiver. He played quarterback for you last year. I mean, you literally can put him anywhere on the field. He's, he's done a great job for us. And I think one of the things that, that Rocky has that can't be taught is that he just does good things with the ball in his hands. He's a... He's a very vertical football player. When he catches the football or he's running the football, it's north and south. Even though he's not a power guy, right. you know, I don't know if Rocky's gonna if he's gonna if he's gonna run anybody over. But he's right. always going forward. Right. And he's he's a he's a pretty fierce competitor, mm-hmm. and I'm proud of him for that. But he has a long way to go. I think he has a lot more left in him you know, <laughs> than he's going to be able to accomplish. But but he's a guy that we have to count on to make plays. If you look at, we're talking about being a young football team, Rocky has, I mean, you talk about the amount of touches or plays in a high school football game. He's only a junior, yeah. but he's been playing for us since he was in the eighth grade. Right. Like His amount of experience is not even close to anybody else's. He's far ahead, except for Thomas George. Yep. I mean, as far as our skill guys and, and our our quarterback situation and guys that are going to be playing in the backfield like Rocky has a, a lot more experience than those kids and he's going to have to he's, he's going to have to get it done alright coach thanks for your time I wish you good luck again this appreciate year appreciate it all the time thank you thank you